Hello Nuggets. Okay, so today I am going to uh, this, I'm making a confession video. Well, not a confession. Don't know why I said that. Uh, I am, today I'm announcing to all of my watchers, all three of you, that um, I'm going to go on a diet. Okay, so I'm going to try something dramatic because uh, I feel myself slipping into this depression and I've gained weight over the last, through the pandemic, as a lot of people have, right? But um, it's not gone crazy, but it has been crazy for years. So I'm 290 pounds. That's how much I weigh now. And at the beginning of this year, I was 270, I think, or something. I don't know. The point is I've gained a little bit. Uh, that's a lot, actually. I've gained like a stone, a little over a stone in the old English measurements. Uh, so I... I've tried so many diets, so many different things, none of them work. So I'm going to try a reset. I'm 50 years old. I don't think it's too late. I'm going to try a reset again. And what I'm going to try is the potato diet. Uh, I've been researching most of the diets that I look into. The problem with them is, is they don't account for my triggers, the personal triggers, right? And for the things that set me off. So most of them substitute like well you know if you need a snack you can have this right or if you're craving some sweetness try a sweet potato that will help you with this that the problem with that is that that substituting for me is just delaying the inevitable i need the real thing right so if i if i crave something sweet at some point i'm gonna have something sweet and a sweet potato or a whatever the heck it is or a piece of honey well, the honey isn't on diets, but you know what I mean. It doesn't work for me, right? Substitution doesn't work for me. The only diet that worked pretty well for me was um, the Whole30 diet. Because the Whole30 diet, there's no substitutions. You literally break, you have to break all of those habits. Now, we did it for 28 days, for 30 days. I don't know, 30 days, right? We did it for whatever the whole period is. Um and it worked pretty well. The problem is that right after it, um, we immediately had a blowout and I was right back to square one. It didn't reset my palate. It didn't reset my desire, right? So I ended up just going straight back to where I was, you know? Um, and the whole 30 is not as difficult as people say. I don't think it is anyway. I think it's actually pretty forgiving, you know, like for most people, there's just certain things that you can't have. You can't have grains and stuff like that. But you can have a steak and potatoes, right? There's nothing wrong with that. You can have a piece of chicken. You can have a piece of fish. You can have as many vegetables as you want. So, you know, oil is allowed. Certain oils, right, are allowed. Um, so it worked pretty well. But again, didn't reset my palate. So I'm going to try the potato diet. Because why the fuck not at this stage? Um, here's the thing, right? So with the potato diet... All I eat is potatoes with absolutely nothing on them. Now, I don't know if I can do that. So I'm thinking I'm going to be allowing myself salt and pepper. Um, and that's about it. Maybe I will use spray olive oil on the outside to get them crispy because I actually love potato skins. And it's I'm talking, you know, a quarter teaspoon of oil on a whole potato. So I think that should be fine. You know, I've seen places saying that you can do that. But I've also seen places saying you can use sweet potatoes and add all that. And I think I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to do like russet potatoes, Yukon potatoes, baby potatoes, just just potatoes, not sweet potatoes, not yams, nothing like that. Um, and I'm going to start tomorrow. And the reason I'm not starting today is I have some chicken in the fridge and I hate throwing away food. So I'm basically just going to use up that last little bit of food that won't last two weeks, the chicken wings, cook them up. And uh, then I'm going to go shopping and I'm going to buy a shit ton of potatoes. I might go to Costco because Costco potatoes are really good. They're cheap, obviously, but it's also very tasty. The, the russet potatoes are awesome. If not, I'll just go to Trader Joe's or I was going to say Ralph's, but I don't do Ralph's anymore because fuck Ralph's. So, um, and then I'll just be eating potatoes. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do them. I have an air fryer. I saw this couple called Crocs crocs in the kitchen or something that did the potato diet for two weeks it won't encourage you by the way if you watch that video <laughs> they did it for two weeks um and by the end of it they hated it they were emotional wrecks so who knows i may not last two weeks i'm just gonna 
try my best to do it. And I'm putting this video up to kind of hold me accountable to it. Uh, but I'm going to start my potato diet tomorrow. And I'm going to record my weight. And I'm going to walk every day. Not heavy exercise. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, I have a pill supplement that I take every day. Just a, just a uh, multivitamin. I'll keep taking that. Um, and then I, the routine will be air fry the potatoes. I can bake them as well, actually. I can air fry or bake them. Here's the thing. I make potatoes really well. I make the best roast potatoes you've ever eaten. I guarantee you that. Uh, I make a great baked potato. I can make good mash and all that kind of stuff. And I can do all of that still. I just can't add anything. There's no butter or milk in the mash. Um, very limited on the salt and pepper. And hardly any oil. I mean, like a little spray. Which actually is really all that you need to make a good roast potato anyway. So I should be able to make good roast potatoes. But I'm trying to figure out. They take a long time to cook. So I'm going to have to cook them all probably in the morning. Um, or the night before. And then just stock up the fridge with cold potatoes and reheat them. They don't reheat that well in the microwave. But I have heard someone saying that baked potatoes actually taste really good when you reheat them in the microwave. I don't know. I, I'm doubtful with that. Um, but I'm a bit of a connoisseur of potatoes, so we'll have to see. So I'm going to give it a go. I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I'll do a video tomorrow with the start. I'm going to cook up some potatoes tonight, so I have them in the morning. Holy shit, I can't believe I'm doing this. And we'll see. Two weeks. That will take me through the election. Oh my god, election night is going to be fun, isn't it? On November 4th. Or whenever, is it the 4th? Yeah. Just sitting there munching on cold roast potatoes or cold boiled potatoes. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to put this video up. All right. So that's it. Just thought I'd check in. Potato diet starts tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be the first official one. Oh, oh. Okay. Here's the big issue. I'm actually not terrified about the potatoes. I'll probably change my mind once I'm in there. The thing is you can only drink water, black coffee, and tea. And I don't drink tea or coffee. So i got to give up caffeine in my Diet Coke. i got to give up soda. And, there, and also the caffeine. So the caffeine won't be terrible. I've done it before and I get a headache in a couple of days of being moody. And it's, But you can get through it. But even when I was doing the whole 30, I spent 30 days craving Diet Coke. It never went. And the worst thing is when I did finally have a Diet Coke, it tasted just as good as I thought it would. It was delicious. And I was immediately back onto it. And I drink a lot of soda. A lot of soda which is, I've been told many times, is the problem, so I do know that. But i got to stop that too. I'm going to be drinking a lot of water and eating potatoes. Water and potatoes for, for two weeks. Fuck it all. Um, yeah, all right. If you happen to have tried it, I'd like to know if it works for you. If you've got any recommendations. I'm going to have to create it, get creative with the type of potatoes and the way I cook them, which is what? Boil, mash, roast, air fryer that's about it i do know that the shape of the potato when you cook it makes a difference because as i said i am a potato connoisseur and actually if you make them long and thin like um steak fries um they actually cook a lot better that way they're very soft inside oh my god i'm getting hungry thinking about it thing is i do love potatoes so you know i eat i eat, ideally i eat potatoes with every single meal that's how much i love them and I do sometimes have meals that are just potatoes. I'll just roast potatoes and eat those because I just find them delicious. I don't know how. But the problem is when I do roast potatoes like that, I also have a cup of oil, right, which I won't be able to do that. I'm just going to use a light spray. We'll see how it goes. I'll check in every day. It starts tomorrow. All right. Wish me luck. Bye, little nuggets. Comment if you've got any ideas right there. Bye.